Hey guys, we're back again so soon. I know, what is this craziness? But I'm trying to create lots during lockdown. I'm trying to keep myself busy, keep myself positive. And of course, art and content creation plays a big part of that. So I had this idea of doing like a lockdown art diary. So where I take you on a journey with me as I explore different mediums and different styles and different techniques and stuff. So if there's anything you want to see me try, let me know. I will have a watercolour one coming your way very soon because that's something I've been really enjoying. But first, I want to do window painting. I might have come across the Chase the Rainbow challenge and a lot of children are put in rainbows in their windows and stuff to make people smile and almost kind of create a trail for people on their daily exercise walks which is really really nice so the first thing I thought was I've got to get involved I know I'm not technically a child in my heart though maybe a little bit but this time of year is when I start back in my full-on work painty season where my job is putting smiles on children's faces and making people happy and that means more to me than anything in the world. At the moment with all of that took off me I feel so limited to what I'm able to do other than putting colour in your news feeds, helping make you guys smile but also my little way of just spreading a little bit of happiness as much as I can I thought let's paint my window and let's join in. So it started with my unicorn which I painted with a rainbow which I didn't film that process but I did do it on TikTok so I will splice that in here so you can see. And it's done quite well. It's it's currently sitting on about 115,000 views. And it's been really nice hearing people outside my window talking. Last week, it's one of my neighbour's kids' birthdays. And he loves Egypt at the moment and Lego. So I drew a little Egyptian Lego character in my window for him. do an update. So I'm going to go through the process with you as I do it and yeah let's see what we create today and what smiles we can make. So this is what it looks like from the inside. I paint on the inside of the window which means it has to be painted backwards which is a bit tricky and it looks a bit strange from this side. When you see it on like the TikToks from the other side it does look very solid but on here you see the light shining through a lot so it's a weird to get your head around. The paints that I've used are acrylic and these should just scrape off really easily. When I've been painting them and I've made a mistake it has been easy to just scrape it off once it's dry. So first put a call, we're going to leave our unicorn up there. We need to get rid of this little fella. It's done well but it's served its purpose. Time for the next one. I just sprayed it with window cleaner and then it still scrapes off quite easy. It's still a little bit of elbow grease, but it comes off. Almost there. I did try it without the window cleaner at first and it was really, really hard. So the window cleaner definitely helps to kind of break down the paint a little bit so that it, it comes off super easy. And there we go. Nice clean canvas, ready to go. So yeah, paints wise, I'm literally just using like craft acrylic, box of tricks, and my weapons of choice and we're ready to go. Uh, design wise, as I've been on my little daily walk, I've noticed there's a trail of teddy bears in windows. So I feel like I want to do a teddy bear too because there's some teddy bear trail thing going on clearly and I want to be a part of it. I'm starting with the Payne's Grey. One, because I'm about out of black, I'm not going to lie. But two, Payne's Grey often looks nicer and not as harsh. Also, just to pre-warn you, this is not going to be my best work because I don't want to spend ages on this because I get impatient. So it's only going to be something quick, just something good enough to make the kids smile, you know? Line, I'm doing a bit of a nurse teddy bear, like I said. As you can see, the light shines through quite a lot. I'm not worrying about that too much because when you see it from the other side, it looks a lot more solid than it looks here. So as you can see, I'm trying to paint like some of the the shadows and deepest creases in there. Um, you can really see as well, the more I do, how much that light shines through. But fear not, my friends, it will not matter. So the cutest thing just happened. 
while I was painting. I'm nearly crying, look, can you see? And this is exactly why I'm doing this. So I literally just heard a mum saying to a little girl, is it this one? Is it this one? No, there's it, this one. And I was like, hmm, what's that about? And then, yeah, they appeared at my window and they were here for the unicorn. This is exactly why I'm doing this, guys. Oh God, look at me. Right, I'm carrying on now. I am going to do a little flag that she's holding saying thank you NHS and I've got to write it backwards. The N is so hard to do and just figure out. Um, right, uh, filming and painting it backwards. Most of the letters are quite easy, but that N. And it's just happened again. Another family just having a conversation with me at the window. I feel like I'm on display right now. This is crazy. And I'm emotional. Great. So just doing that in a little flag shape. Hoping this will look okay the other way around. One of the little boys just went, Teddy! So I think it looks like a teddy from the other side, thankfully. Now I need to be a little bit patient because last time I wasn't and I tried painting over while it was still a little bit wet and it all smudged of course so I need that outline to dry. It's acrylic so it'll dry really quickly, thankfully. Also if you make any mistakes in this it's really easy to just wait for it to dry and then scrape it off a little bit. Scrape a little bit off in the eyes because of course I just painted a circle but I'm gonna want a light spot in there so when that's fully dry, I'm just going to maybe the tip of my paintbrush. So that's dry now. Now the next step is I'm going to paint my shadows and highlights, which is really weird to get your head around. This is just a bit of white mixed with the paint's grey so that it's going to add a little bit of a contrast to when we do her dress fully white. I've got on a little shoes. I just wanted to add a little bit of a highlight in. So I'm literally just using the end of my brush to scrape those in. So there we've got our brown going in for the shadows on the teddy bear slurf and also some little highlights. Now that those are dry, I'm just filling in the gaps. I could be really messy with this because it's on the reverse side and it's just getting the coverage in. Using this smaller brush as well for the bear, I can add a little bit of texture into the fur. But then for the dress, I'm going to switch to a bigger brush so I get much broader, bigger strokes and better coverage. Like this. And I'm just painting over all of the line work because like I said before, it doesn't matter because it is on the reverse. And down here I'm going to paint some grass because I am going to add a bit of an Easter scene for this on Sunday. Like I said before, it's not the most precise painting, it's not my finest work, but it's making people smile, which is the... Um, most important part. So while the paint's still wet you can kind of mix a few colours in so I want a bit more yellow in this grass so it's still wet it's not dried and I'm just gonna kind of stipple some into some certain areas so that it kind of works into that paint that's already there and adds a bit more interest. Add some really 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 easy little flowers as well just by getting a round brush doing some petals and now just a few little centers in those flowers too super simple so as you can see from this side it's a bit hard to tell how it's turned out and now ladies and gentlemen it's the moment of truth when you step outside and you just hope that it looks okay and there we go it's turned out okay actually so hopefully like i said it's not my best work don't judge me for it but the kids will love it. And it seems like they are enjoying coming and just seeing what's on the window today. So what I've done is I've made sure I've left plenty of space so that I can still do some other stuff. So I think we're gonna do something Easter next, but yeah, I'm really happy with how that's turned out. And then the final step now is to shut the blinds so that the paint can dry before the cats get to it because Maya got to it last time. So that was fun. Um, but yes, I'm going to be doing an Easter edition on this over the weekend, like I said. I don't know if I will film it for a whole YouTube episode again because you don't want to just have a feed full of this because like I said, it's not my best work, but it's for the 
the reason why we're doing it more than anything but i definitely will be doing a tiktok on it so if you don't already go follow me on tiktok at miss kate monroe and you will see it over there also i'll upload that tiktok over on my instagram story as well at miss kate monroe.co.uk and i'll leave it there and i'll be back for the next one very soon if there's any art styles you want to see me try out in these lockdown art diaries then let me know and we'll have a go why not keep safe keep smiling see you soon